Monday night football, Miami Dolphins, Tennessee Titans, Detroit Lions taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Guys, this is Props and Parlays today. I am Andrew McGinnis, and Andy Lang will be back with us next Monday, and I look forward to having him back. Always love shopping it up with Andy and talking props with him. Guys, it's going to be very abbreviated, very quick, but I do have a handful of props that I wanted to let you guys know about. We can make some money in the prop betting market in tonight's doubleheader in the NFL. All right, guys, let's start things off with game number one. We have the Titans and the Dolphins, of course, going head to head. A few quick notes uh, to mention. Tennessee, number three team uh, in the league against the pass. Uh, Tennessee, number one team, completion defense. Miami, number four team in completion defense. Both these teams, decent against the pass. So what are we going to start with, guys? We're going to start by taking the under with Tyler Huntley under 165 and a half passing yards. Look, I understand it's a very low number. It's a very low number here, guys, uh, for a team that has the capability to have a good passing game, has the talented receivers, and they have players that can make plays and, and catch a short ball and turn nothing into something. But when it comes down to it, I have to look at the last 10 games that Huntley played Nine of those, he went under this number. And sometimes, until you're proven otherwise, you have to follow some trends like this one. 165 and a half, guys. We're going to go under Huntley on his passing yards. All right. Look at an, add another one here. We're going to go with Will Levis over 19 and a half completions. Now, he actually has struggled with this one here, guys. He has not fared well with his completions on the year. As I mentioned, Miami, number four on the season overall in completion defense. But this, to me, is an opportunity for Will Levis to have himself a game, for him to find his passing offense a little bit here, and for him to get back on track and build some confidence. You take a look at the past few games and the games that start off the season for Will Levis, well, he hasn't really been getting that much respect, guys. Uh, if you look at some of the matchups he's had, and of course, their game against the Packers, he went over his completions number, well, because they were trailing. In this game, I feel like they're going to have the ball a ton. You know, we're going to see uh, Miami struggle out the gate with their passing game. They're going to see some three and outs early on, and we're going to see Tennessee have the ball, and whether they're deep passes or just short checkdowns, we're going to see Will Levis get his confidence back. So the first play with the Huntley under on passing yards was kind of a trend is your friend type of play. This one is we're going against the grain. You know, it's kind of a buy the dip, buy the low spot here. Over 19 and a half completions for Will Levis on the night tonight. Let's cash that ticket. All right, guys, I've got just uh, two more plays in this game and another one that involves Tyler Huntley. So look, guys, if I'm going to take the under on his passing yards, how is he going to better this team? How is he going to complement the Miami Dolphins? Well, Going to go over seven and a half rushing attempts for Huntley, who is very mobile, very versatile. He is not hesitant to escape the pocket, make plays using his legs. And if he's struggling to pass the ball, he's going to have to fight for some first downs, fight for some yardage by using his legs. He has gone over this number in a handful of his starts uh, that he played uh, with the Baltimore Ravens and, and had the starts that he's had over the last uh, couple seasons here. And I think that he's going to be able to go over this number. Why am I choosing attempts, guys? Well, I just... I don't want to have to worry about what he does when he leaves the pocket, more so just the fact that I think when he when he faces pressure, he's going to have to run the ball, which will get us up and over this seven and a half attempts number. And especially if he's having success, guys, why would he not keep going back to it? Why would he not continue to run the ball? So the attempts, to me, is the best way to go. And let's end things off in this game with Devon A. Chain over 26 and a half receiving yards. If I find that they're going to have difficulty throwing the long ball, if they're going to have difficulty finding guys, you know, downfield, well, the dump off is probably going to be the play. You know, the safety blanket, the security of dumping it off to your running back, getting your running back involved in the receiving game. 76, 69, and 28, those are the receiving yard numbers over the last three games played 
for Devon Achan. I think he will have success in this game once again in the receiving game. And his number is only 26 and a half. Uh, if you shop around, guys, you're going to make some money with him in the prop betting market tonight. Guys, reminder to like this video on the Wager Talk TV channel. You can find all kinds of great videos across the channel. Subscribe to us, of course, on YouTube and all kinds of podcasting networks. And you can follow me on X at McGinnis Picks for all kinds of plays, free picks, information for all of my betting uh, videos that I do. All right. Uh, really quick, we're going to jump into the next game. Of course, we have the Lions and the Seahawks, and I don't have a ton on this game besides my client best bets. So I'm going to just give you guys uh, two picks here. And we're going to start off by taking Jared Goff over on his passing yards here. I think Goff is in for a really, really strong day uh, for Detroit. I think that he has struggled out the gate. Uh, and I think that, you know, there's been some plays he wishes he could have back, some open targets that he might have overthrown, some some situations that he has definitely underachieved in so far this season. But I think it sets up for success for the fact that this Seattle defense, well, I guess you could say they've had a favorable schedule. You know, this Seattle team, I could say, has probably not overachieved so far, but they've had a favorable start to their season and it's made their defense look a hell of a lot better than it probably is. Even though it's respectable, I don't think it's been as good um, as the, you know, the stats would indicate. So I do think that Jared Goff, guys, is going to have a good day, whether you're betting his passing yard number, whether you're betting him over one and a half passing touchdowns, I think you got to look at Jared Goff to have himself a day. Uh, the next one I wanted to look at, this is going to involve the Seattle Seahawks. We're going to take Kenneth Walker under 12 and a half rushing attempts. Guys, if I think this is going to be a game Seattle might struggle in, of course, you can tell I do lean towards the Detroit Lions side. I don't think the running game is going to be as easy as it has been over the last few weeks for the Seattle Seahawks. And if that's the case, we're going to look towards under 12 and a half rushing attempts. Gino is going to have to throw the ball a lot more for Seattle in this game. They're going to be behind. They're going to be trailing. This is not going to be an opportunity where you have Kenneth Walker running out the clock, you know, getting all these touches on the ground um, to kind of protect a lead, so to speak, for this Seahawks team. I think it's going to be a pass-heavy game for the Seattle Seahawks, which is why we're taking under 12 and a half rushing attempts for Kenneth Walker. Guys, short and simple on props, parlays today. No parlays, just a few props here to mention on tonight's games. I hope you guys love the doubleheaders on Monday as much as I do. I'm ready to make some money and hopefully we can cash in some of these tickets here under on Tyler Huntley with his passing yards, but over on his rushing attempts. Uh, we're also going to look at Will Levis over on his completions. Tyler Huntley, again, guys, is going to have a good day, but I think more so with the rushing attempts. Devon A. Chain over on receiving yards. Jared Goff passing yards and touchdowns. Kenneth Walker under on his rushing attempts. Wishing you all a great, profitable Monday. I'll see you next time right here on Wager Talk TV. All the best.